nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Lift off. Go Falcon. Go GPS. And Miko. Stage separation confirmed. And we've confirmed ignition of the second stage engine after a good stage one, stage two set. Waiting to see the camera switch forward. Fairing separation confirmed. And we've got fairing separation. The two halves of the Falcon 9 fairing separating, the pneumatic system unlatching the locks that hold it together, and then the pneumatic pushers separating the two halves. As the fairing falls away from the vehicle, we can see on the left side of the screen the grid fins, the large titanium castings that are mounted to the first stage have deployed. They'll be used later as we come back into the atmosphere for precision guidance of the first stage to land on the drone ship. Stage one, entry burn has started. Our successful ignition of the three Merlin 1D engines on the first stage. We're expecting this burn to last just about 30 seconds. Stage one, entry burn, shut down. The guidance engineer is evaluating the orbit of the second stage now. Nominal parking orbit. Nominal parking orbit. Landing That's exactly what deployed. we want to hear. Landing leg deployment looks like right down the center. And it looks like a successful landed. landing. Recovery operators move into I see a first stage. Excellent. Nine. Second stage is firing settling pulses using cold gas. Make sure propellants are at the top of the inlets of the pump, ready to light that engine. And we've got video of the upper stage engine. And we've got startup confirmation. Propulsion confirms we are up on power on the MVAC D engine. Now the second stage will burn for 44 seconds, and that's going to add over 2,000 meters per second to the speed of Falcon 9 before we shut it down for the second time. Now this shutdown event might be called out as SECO 2. Now this burn that we are in right now will place the GPS-3 space vehicle into the required orbit prior to separating it from Falcon 9. Views coming to you from two cameras on the bottom of the second stage as we switch back and forth so that we can see both sides of the engine. We've got shutdown.
that's actually our 87th successful launch today. Um, so coming up in just about 15 seconds from now, it's our last major milestone, and that's deployment of the GPS-3 satellite from the second stage. Payload separation confirmed. And successful confirmation of the spacecraft continuing on to perform its mission. From here, the satellite will undergo some activation checks and perform burns to raise into a circular orbit about 20,200 kilometers above the Earth's surface. And with that, that's actually going to complete our primary mission. Now, another note, if you were watching our webcast earlier, uh, we accomplished another recovery objective today, and that is successful securing of both the fairing halves that we jettisoned early on in the mission. So we'll have those for use on a future mission. 